Wednesday, December 23rd, 2020. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Vladimir Dutit with Jerika Duncan and Jamie Yukis. There's new COVID relief confusion after President Trump steps in. We'll talk with a member of the Biden Coronavirus Task Force about the future of the pandemic. A shocking bill for a single doctor visit in New Mexico. Why this happens too often in our Bill of the Month series. And lights in the darkness. How New Orleans' big holiday display served as a beacon in hard times, even before the pandemic. But first, here's today's eye opener at eight. The newly passed COVID relief package is facing new uncertainty this morning because President Trump said that he might not sign the bill. The president suddenly demanded that that amount per person be increased. That's been the Democrats' position all along, so they seized on the opportunity by scheduling a vote raising that amount. The federal government has reached a deal with Pfizer for an additional 100 million doses of its vaccine. That's in addition to the 100 million that was already on the way. What worries me most is that Congress get money out to states to get the vaccine into people's arms. Boston is 61 degrees on Christmas morning, but Florida is near freezing right around 30. And Vlad, if you're looking for a white Christmas, you have a better chance in Atlanta than you do in Boston. <laughs> wow. 2020, baby. Oh, yes, a Christmas version of Crazy Train by Rahul Rai is going viral. The aspiring actor performed the classic song with nothing but wrapping paper rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something I could do with wrapping paper Ozzie because I'm terrible at wrapping wow. gifts. Wow, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> you too. <laughs> that was good. Well, Gail, Tony, and Anthony are off today. We have some breaking news on the coronavirus this morning. The federal government has agreed to buy an additional 100 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine. The Trump administration had been criticized for not wrapping up a larger supply.